Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday number 30. Today's topic is the difference between stable and unstable enlightenments. The questioner asks this. I've had some powerful experiences that might be called what you term direct experiences. They came and stayed for a day or longer. The blissful effect of one of them lasted about a month. How can I make these states more stable? They come, but they also go away. I would like them to stay longer. Very good question. Yes, we, um, many of us will go in and out of these beautiful states, especially if we are doing practice uh, of meditation or of more higher frequency contemplations. Uh, you may find that you will go into an experience and experience an amazing blissful state, but then you come out of it and you come back to what's called this reality. And uh, so your question is, how can you stay in it? Okay. There are two, two states. One is an, is an unstable state. And the unstable state is seated with the vision of duality. What that means is that everything, even your state of um, enlightenment, has a seed of duality in it, which means uh, it's still there. It's not burnt. And the other state of enlightenment, which is more permanent, which is more stable, that doesn't have any seed of duality in it. You don't, you don't even think in terms of form. Your vision is complete oneness. So your question is, how can you stay in that state? How can it become more stable? Well, I see it like this. We are the product of our habits. We are the product of our patterns. Everything in existence is just a pattern. Pattern of consciousness, whether it's heavy and formed, or whether it's really, really light and high, high, high frequency, if it's on the level of the form, and as long as we're in a physical form, it's going to be patterned. It's going to be, it's, it's going to be shaped by our habits, shaped by our patterns. But the interesting thing is that you have an individual will of choice. You can um, practice... Um, form-oriented meditations and um, that will keep you connected to the field of form. Like um, if you are practicing breath meditation, mantra meditation or all these different kinds of meditations and your attention is still on the form aspect of, of it then you can go into these as if non-form states, but the seed of form is going to pull you back down to the earth and into this, into this existence. And your vision will come back to a vision of duality. So you might enter into a state of oneness, but you'll be pulled back because the seed of duality still exists as you're meditating. So there is the other state, which is without seed of duality, without the seed of form. So that means your meditation is on the absolute bliss consciousness, the, 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 the state where there is no form, the formless state. So it's kind of like you got two piggy banks, okay? And one piggy bank is piggy bank A, and that one is 
that all of the experiences you've had in this life and maybe in past lives, you are accumulating those experiences if they're in the if they're seated with duality consciousness, then they go into piggy bank A. So every time you have an experience in your life, every day you have an experience and you choose to see it in a dualistic way, then it's going to go into piggy bank A. That's called the duality piggy bank. Then there's piggy bank B, which is the piggy bank of the vision of oneness. So every time that you live uh, a moment in your day and you make a choice about how you're going to see this experience that you have, and if you choose to see it with the vision of oneness, with and what I mean by that is that you choose to see it with positivity, you choose, it's a choice, and your uh, experience is of, of compassion and love and joy and the more experiences you have like that goes into piggy bank B then you're starting to stack up your experiences one after the other and the more you have whatever the most you have in each piggy bank will depend on the state of experience you have and when it comes to direct experiences will it be stable or unstable well, it depends on how much what we call sunscar or mental impressions are stacked up in each of the piggy banks. So if you have more duality experiences, then whatever direct experience you might have in enlightenment, it's going to be, it's going to pull you back down. But if you have more oneness experiences in your piggy bank B, then you'll be able to hang out in, in those states much longer because you have backing you all of these other experiences of oneness in your daily life. Like, uh, how can I explain this a little bit simpler? Just, it's simply like this. If you live every single day with your conscious choice to live in the most positive way, have as much meditation practice as you can in a day. Your choices are always positive. You look at life in the highest reverent way. You have full, your life is full of appreciation. Then you are stacking more mental impressions. Your sun scars are going to be more built up in piggy bank B. So that means that when you do enter in, in an enlightened state, it'll last longer. And then when you come out of it, you're not going to go all the way down. You're going you're gonna to come somewhere up much higher because your, your lifestyle is supporting that vision of oneness. So it's not going to go all the way down. It's going to stay or hover very close to the state you went into. So you may come out but you may only hang out here. As opposed to if you have a lot more in piggy bank A, a lot more sun scars or mental impressions of duality seated with the idea that form is real, then you're going to come down lower or um, you might go into it for a peak and then slam back down into duality again. So it's really your choice and every day you make that choice. There is, there's nothing, there's nothing more powerful than you making a choice in every single moment about the state of consciousness you were going to live. There's no force greater than you. You're, you're the chooser. So you can live and you can decide right now, even whatever thought comes in right now, in a split second, you can choose piggy bank A or piggy bank B. And the more you have accumulated from your past experiences, whatever piggy bank that is in, that's what you end up living. You are what you practice. And it's just a, it's an interesting reality. There's, there's nothing more than that. There's nothing mystical about this. It's simply called practice. 
you have to practice the state you want to live in. So every moment you have that choice. The divine is constantly showering the possibility of a million choices, but really there's two choices. There's the choice of oneness and there's the choice of duality. And every moment you have that choice. Which piggy bank, piggy bank are you going to feed? Okay, so if you want a stable state, then you keep practicing meditations, positive state, positive interpretation of whatever is going on in your life, and then you, whatever, whenever you enter into um, an enlightened state, it'll be able to last longer, and if it doesn't last as long, at least you're not going to drop down so far. You will just keep hovering and hanging out very close to those enlightened states. That's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.